Hello everybody and welcome back to Heiner Builds Your Ride, this time again with Heiner and uh, the star of the show, the 76 series Land Cruiser. This came pre-modified, so we didn't do the whole works on it, but we added a power system, so the main components are all in the back. Very exciting, there are some things that we've done for the first time, uh, so check it out and let's roll the intro. In the back here, we have got a uh, MSA draw system, MSA drop slide, angle fridge in here. And then this is part of the MSA draw system. There's some light switches integrated here, some charge points. And on the other side, we've got the Red Arc Red Vision display, which in this case is also connected to a Red Vision control system. So the TVMS has been put behind the seat together with the Manager 30. And you can see on the side there, we use the Amtron 100 amp hour lithium battery in an Amtron cradle. It's got the shunt mounted to the side of it. Uh, that is the backbone of the system. We've connected a rear mounted winch. The customer mounted this winch himself with the custom cradle. We added lights. I'm not sure if this is gonna stay like that or if there's gonna be a cover later on. We haven't been told, so we just did our thing there. We've added our National Lunar Light right up here, as we always do. There are some cool features to this in the back, because what you can do is, for example, the rear light, you can switch it on with the switches here, but you can also switch it on from the TVMS. So what we've done is we've used the input triggers that we've got on the TVMS. We connected the switches to it and they act as the override. So you still got your old style mechanical switches uh, to turn the roof lights on and off. But at the same time, you can use the TVMS screen and you can use your mobile phone, which makes it extremely handy. Uh, to wire up the roof rack, which we've done as well, we've uh, got our cable coming out the back. This is quite handy to actually get the cable run through the brake light because there's already a hole in the roof in the back here with a rubber boot. We can put our seven core cable through that. Then we've got a Deutsch plug so you can connect and disconnect the whole roof rack if you want to take it off. Of course, all our wiring is done in an aluminum junction box here. So this is extremely uh, rigid and you can disconnect the whole thing if you want to. I can show you some details later on on the display how everything works but uh, let's have a look behind the drawer because this is interesting this system can actually be replicated quite easily for you guys at home as well so come and have a look here We've got a fold over the rear seats and here you can see this is where all the goodies are i'm gonna walk around the other way so i can explain everything to you so instead of using uh, the Egan DC hub, as we usually do, this customer preferred the Red Vision system. And as you can see, when you install the MSA draw system, you still got room to put the Manager 30 in here together with the TVMS system. The battery can sit on the top here. It's absolutely bulletproof in this position. And you've got a great setup. And you don't need any custom work for a draw system you can just use the msa draw system which makes this quite a good build if you don't want to wait for a long time to actually have your interior built you can just take off the shelf interior uh, obviously we added a little cable channel to the fridge so it can slide out and drop down without having any loose cables around that you would damage when you move the fridge in and out uh, on top of this, we put some USB charge points in here so that the kids stay happy on long drives. So you can plug in your phones or you can plug in your tablets or whatever you might use. Uh, in the front, I'll come around and show you what we did there. So in here, 
we put our usual charge points on the side of the dash. There's one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side here. When you close the door, the window's about here. And this makes it really easy for the driver and the passenger to charge their phones or to connect the GPS system. Beauty is that most people use a suction cap for their phones or for their GPS system. So you can put a suction cap here, have a holder for your phone, and all you need is a 30 centimeter cable instead of a meter or one and a half meter one that you have to put all over the dash and then it clutters the whole thing. It's a very, very neat way of integrating this actually. Then we've also got the GME XRS 370 two-way, which is pluggable into the dash. Uh, I'll show you from the other side, I reckon. So we've done this in a way that you can have your two-way when you don't use it, you just put it in the glove box. And if you do want to use it, you just take it out, you plug it into the dash and it comes on and off with, accessor with uh, accessories. So the first position of your key switch will bring the radio on as well. You use it as long as you want to while you're out and about and when you're in the city and you don't need your two-way, you can just unplug it, put it in the glove box and it keeps the interior of the car very tidy that way. Uh, don't mind this, this is the old stuff that we've deinstalled. We always supply that, the customer can then decide if he wants to keep it or rather throw it away. There's a whole book full of user manuals of all the components that we've installed. This is pretty much it in the cab. Oh, sorry, almost forgot. We've also put a rear view camera in there. So there's a camera on the back. You might have seen it under the uh, third brake light as a camera that is connected to this monitor. So this is a touch screen monitor. At the same time, this is also a dash cam. So all you need to do is put an SD card in there. This has got a camera that points towards the front and also uses the one in the back. You've got a dash cam, but at the same time, you've got a camera where you can actually see out of the back of the car for reversing or just in general, because with the fridge in there, you don't see too much out of the back of the car anymore. Uh, I think this is really it in the cab now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop the bonnet and I'll show you what we've did under the bonnet. So this customer has already put gas struts in there, but uh, they seem like they're not quite strong enough. So what we've got here is uh, a winch isolator on our custom bracket that is for the front winch, which is not there yet, but we've already put the isolator in. And this bracket also works for 300 amp A and L fuse in case the customer wants to upgrade the alternator in the future, then the fuse for the new 250 amp Endura alternator can go on there as well. Uh, we put our twin MIDI fuses on here for the rear Anderson plug and for the Manager 30, directly of battery positive. And we've run double zero BNS for the rear winch, which has got its pickup here. Then there's an isolator for the rear winch here, so you can turn uh, battery positive to the rear winch off when you're not in an off-road situation. And that's basically it. There's a little bit more over there. We wired up the light bar with our driving light harnesses, uh, bar light harnesses as we usually do. All the accessories that we've installed, for example, the mirror, the camera that runs on accessories, we hook that up through uh, the factory fuse box underneath there. Uh, we also use that fuse box for the driving lights. It makes it a whole lot easier because most people don't even know that Toyota has got this great fuse box under the bonnet where it has power outlet. In that fuse box, you got access to battery positive, you got an accessory circuit and you got an ignition circuit in there. And you've already got a fuse holder in there as well. So if you want to install accessories, you can use the factory Toyota accessory fuse box the way the engineers intended to. And I think that is it in the front here. Let me show you a little bit more how we can use that TVMS system in the back because this is where it gets really cool. So the way we've set up the screen because you can configure 
the TVMS system whichever way you want. So the fridge is running through it and we locked out the switch because you don't accidentally want to turn off your fridge. At the same time we've also locked out the power supply to the National Lunar Light, uh, to the mirror in the front for the constant recording uh, so that you can't accidentally turn it off. You can change it in the settings but in here you can keep it that way. And now this is the cool part because over here you see that's the left hand side work light, that's the right hand side work light and that's the rear work light. So I can turn the work light on here and you can see how the light up the top there turns on and off. And I can turn that off again. So I can turn the rear light on and off through the screen and obviously you see I press the button here, light turns on and off. You can do that through your mobile phone as well when you got the app. And you can do it through the normal rear light switch. You see that turns on the light as well. The way that works is that switch gives the input trigger to the TVMS. The TVMS then realizes, hey, one of my digital inputs has got a signal to it. So I turn the rear light on. And as you can see now, the control button has turned on and it's got a locked out symbol on it. So at the moment, because that is seen as the override switch. I can't do anything on the display anymore until I turn this off and now I can switch it through the display again. So there is a way that you can integrate old style switches into the TVMS system. I find that very cool and exciting. Uh, that's the really cool thing I think about this installation that that is integrated as well. And apart from that, a really cool thing about these drawers, the MSA drawers have got inbuilt light strips. So as soon as you pull them all the way out, you've got light for the whole drawer. There's a switch on the side here where you can turn that function on and off, which I think is extremely handy. The only drawer system that I know that has got these lights built in. And all it is, is just a contact at the end of the, of the run of the drawer. And then obviously you got your, uh, your fridge slide and you've got your MSA drop slide in the back here. It's already fully loaded with the fridge so you can pull that out all the way and then it comes down. As you can see, the cable has been made so that it can travel all the way through here. It's got a track there where it automatically folds up when you push the fridge in and that way everybody can get to the fridge easily. You don't have to be two meters tall to get to your fridge and to put it back in. Just push this down and you push the fridge back in and it's locked back into position. Very handy like that. Uh, I think the only thing that's left to do now is Give it our patch of approval. This one's now ready to drive anywhere. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one.